So I'm pretty excited that this came today. Pretty excited because I've been wanting something like this for a while. And from shooting previously on a Canon 7D with a battery grip, that camera gave me uh, a lot of shots and time shooting before I had to replace batteries. Now I have a Canon RP right now, right here. There's a Canon RP. Its biggest downfall in my opinion is battery life. Estimating honestly between two and 300 shots. And honestly, depending on the weather, I've had it drain from a half hour to an hour for footage. That's actually not great by any stretch of the imagination. Problem is, is Canon and nobody else decided that uh, this camera should have the ability to have a battery grip attached to it. They have this weird little extension thing that extends it a little bit for like your pinky, but no battery. I was pretty excited when I saw these guys. Now this is a website here called Custom Battery Grips. And currently they have it for the RP, which is what I got. Uh, they also have it for the M50, which I'm hoping to get because as of now, this is actually what I'm shooting on right now because my RP's here. And uh, I believe they are also currently creating one for the new M6 Mark II. So if you have that, so that's cool. Um, it's it's right here, down here, it just, just came in. And uh, we're going to put it together, see how it goes together, see how it fits, and uh, give, you a, give you guys a first look. And that's coming up. All right, my friends, so one day I was just perusing through the internet and uh, looking for accessories for the RP and came across this and I was like, hmm, interesting. So I reached out to them. Uh, it's a small group and, and I was talking to them and, and I'm pretty sure these are handcrafted, probably put through like a 3D printer, things like that, but not done on a large scale by any means. So very cool that they saw a opening in the market that needed to be filled and they actually made this, so very, very cool. Now the one thing that it doesn't come with is physical batteries. So it does use, and I'm gonna reach over just here so I can show you, it does use these. They're like AA batteries, but really big. What's cool about these, uh, these are what's called an 18650 battery. Again, look like really large AA batteries. 3000 milliamp hours per battery. Now you can get some of these that are a little bigger. I think that the biggest one is like 3800 or something like that, which is what these guys recommend. And they actually told me when I said I needed to go buy batteries was that anything over and above that is a bunch of hooey they are falsifying all that information. Cause I was like, there's ones out there that are saying like 8,000, should I get those? And they're like, oh no, because they're probably even worse. So I actually went online to Walmart. Yeah, Walmart, and I did a search for 18650, found these and I got them sent 3,000. They were kind of on sale. I think it was 20 something dollars US, but I got eight. So I got four here, came with a charger, which is excellent, came with a charger. They came looking like this. This is what they came in. Hold on. This is this is the bag here. And each of the batteries just wrapped up like this. So nothing overly fancy. One battery per bag. Again, I bought eight of them. Eight of them. So eight of them with charger. I think it was between 20 and 30 US dollars. Now think about this for a minute before I even get this going. The standard battery inside an M50 or an RP is like 1300, 1400 milliamp. That's it which is why you're only getting two, 300 shots, 3000. Okay, so we've already doubled. Yes, and guess what's happening? This adapter has taken two of them. So now we are quadrupling the amount of power for your camera. Oh yeah, awesome. Plus, these things are not heavy by any means, which is awesome. You're not gonna add a lot of weight to your camera either, which is cool. Last but not least is I bought eight of them, which means I've got four times the amount of power in my camera now, plus four sets, right? Two sets down there, two sets right here. I'm living the dream, my friends, living the dream. And the charger works good. I could charge all four. Here's my charger that I got. You can see it right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm just kind of, cable's all kind of tied, tied around stuff over here. There you go, cable, right? There it is. Super awesome, super awesome. Okay, let's put it together. So here it is, this is all the pieces. Now, depending on how they send it to you, because I'm pretty sure 
it's it's just the owner maybe somebody else that build this on a 3d printer and you may get this all together but i kind of took it apart so you can see the pieces so what you're getting is the place where the battery sits you're getting the physical grip uh you're getting a little door for the grip on the bottom and you're getting a door on the side which is where your battery indicator is going to be shown right here so nice and simply all we do is on our canon camera we're going to pop this door open right and we're going to pop the door off so i think all we do is slide this back and this comes up now this is a big door and unlike your other cameras that they know this there's no slot right here to put this so put this in a safe spot so that you don't lose it right kind of important now all we're going to do is pop this battery out and we're going to set this here upside down so you guys hopefully can see that well we have a dummy battery so this dummy battery nice and simply is going to have the adapter you can see that same size there it is right there looks 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 legit and it's gonna have a, like a little power input on here so this is gonna go inside here simple this is our tray so we look at our tray in this this is gonna go in through here and then this piece is gonna stick in there so nice and simply we are gonna take our batteries in so far things are working okay Make sure this is lined up right. So this is going in like so. Slides in, clicks. There's a little little spot there that it kind of clicks into. And then you got this piece here. So what you can do is before you even start screwing it down, you can just kind of attach it to your camera here because the cable is long enough. Just kind of put it like that. And then just kind of line up all the ports here. And all we're gonna do now is screw that in. Hope, hope for the best, I guess, is what we're doing, right? So screw, 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 my friends. That's what that's what we do, right? It goes. It's tight. Get it in there. The one thing I noticed on this one, at least, you really want to do that. This tightening, whatever, from the back here. It's hard to reach it from the front. It's on there. Just make sure you snug it in. Get it in nice and clamped, so that this has a chance to really tighten. And, and I will say it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit quite as good as, let's say, for sure, as if you were to buy an actual Canon one. But Canon doesn't make one, so this is this is what I got, and it's on there. All right, so there we go. Is it on? It feels on. I'm just gonna give it a good push, make sure, get that as tight as I can get it. Don't wanna get it too tight because I need to be able to take it off if I want to. But that's on there. That's good. On there, good. Now you get two doors. This is door one. This door goes on the bottom. And this opening here is strictly so that if you didn't kind of tie the cable in first, you could just dig your finger in there just to make sure that it's it's plugged in there and snugged and secure and all that. Make sure the battery's in there. The other thing that's really cool about this door is it makes the SD card slot still available. So I can actually pop this off, reach my finger in there. I don't actually, do I have a card? No. So here's a card. And I can just kind of, it's deep without question. It's deep. You can, make sure I put it in the right way. I don't think I have a card in here. There, I got the card in there, right? So card in, perfect. Then I get my door. Not as easy as it normally is because you got to kind of funnel it in there, but it's there. Got my door and the door, it's got a little magnetic piece. So what happens is this kind of snaps in here and there's just a magnetic at the top. So make sure you're back in first and in. So this doesn't screw in or anything to lock. It's literally just like a little magnet that you pop. So click, magnet done super nice over here same kind of deal magnets on the edges so all this does is up to the top find that little spot done voila if you look at this now you can actually see if you push this let's see it lights up it says yeah we're good full charge full charge my friends let's see if this fires up I'm kind of excited you know we'll, we'll look up here so you guys can see it first first turn on and nothing why do i got nothing all right let's pop this open let's make sure my battery is in all the way because that may be maybe that's an issue okay guys so it's been it's been about 24 hours and i'm back i had to stop the video because i couldn't get it 
to work. I couldn't actually get the battery grip and the RP to communicate. So I ended up reaching out to the company and talking to them and being like, um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm probably doing something wrong. Right off the bat, here's number one. Here's number one, because I think this is important. The communication between them and I, even though they're, I don't know, I think they're somewhere in Europe or something like that. So there's seven, eight hours probably time difference. I was shocked at how fast the communication was going back and forth between us. It was really fast. Of course, there was a few times, I guess, that there was a bit of a delay, but when you look at the clock, I'm like, yeah, it's probably two, three o'clock in the morning over there. So I get it. But first thing in the morning, I'd have another response. We were back and forth. We got it fixed. So here's, I want to say here's the issue. Here was the problem that I was having. And that problem was something actually quite simple. So if you actually look at this, this is, this is my RP with the grip on it here. So if you look at this, really, especially on this side. So when you're looking at the camera, it's on, on this side here. This needs to be just lock tight, no gap. And what happens is if I were to take this grip off, you'll see there's a little tiny rim almost around it. And that's really got to go into where the battery goes. Like it got to go into that battery door opening. Because what happens is Canon cameras, at least the RP and like the M50 and that, for sure, what happens is, is they have a mechanism that if the battery door is open, it won't function. And because the battery door is actually removed, it doesn't function. So there is a real need for this to be super aligned and ensure that it's fitting properly. So if you get one of these and you're like, it's not working, honestly, the easiest thing to do is just pop it off, kind of make sure you align. And again, it's this edge right here. So right around here, because this is where the battery door is, then it works. So I was all like, maybe it's the, maybe it's the, the dummy battery. Maybe it's this. No, it's got power coming in here and you can see, right? There's, there's power coming in here. I was, I was lost for words. I didn't know what to do, but awesome communication back and forth. So that's fantastic. Now, just so you guys can see this, I'm going to pop this door off and I am going to pop the power off for a second. So you guys can see this kind of get the camera to reset itself. So I'm going to take this off power out. So you can see the power plug is out here and I'm going to put it in. Now, again, if you have thick fingers, really thick fingers, uh, getting this in here is, is really difficult. I'm going to throw that out there. It is really difficult. Be aware if you're like, no, I'll just be able to just pop that in. Well, you can, I can, it takes a, as you can see, it takes a bit of hunting around. You can end up getting it there, but maybe not as easy as one may think. If you had smaller fingers, one may think be better. All right. I think I'm in there. I think I'm in there. And I want, I wanted to do this because I want to show you this because it's important. Again, here's that magnet. And again, it's nice and tight. No concerns that that's going to fall off anywhere, you know, back in, shut. All right. So here it is. When we have this connected and this, this is going to work this time and we turn this on. Ready? All right. So I want you guys, can you guys read that? See that right there? So battery communication error. So does this battery slash do these batteries display the Canon logo? So don't go hitting yes here, because if you hit yes, it'll say there's a problem and contact Canon or contact whoever, and it literally just shuts the batteries down. It says these are fake, try to get your money back. So make sure you hit no. So I'm gonna say, no, they do not. And it says Canon does not guarantee the performance or safety of these batteries. Do you wanna continue use? And I'm gonna hit yes, because if you hit no, again, it just stops it. So yes. And now, now we're now we're good to go. So a few things to realize inside here: you are not going to get any battery information. No battery information on the screen. You'll see up here; it's just an empty battery. But as you can hear, she's firing. She's working, which is why this becomes so important because this is going to be your battery indicator. Now I'll throw this out there. I'm going to just turn this off. The fact of the, I got something in my eye. Something in my eye. Something in my eye. So you got to remember. You're coming from about a 1300, I can't remember, 1300, 1400 milliamp battery to now 6,000 milliamps. And you can put a slightly bigger battery in here if you so choose, which would actually give you probably between seven and 8,000 milliamps if you want it. Four times the amount. I don't really know any day that I've shot myself, and, and some have for sure, that I've gone through four standard batteries. This is 
over four standard batteries because you're looking at even at 13 or 1400 you'd be looking at 5600 milliamps and this is going to be pushing 6000 with my batteries but you could get more so this should be able to do you a full day and then you can come home and charge these or be like me and just be like you know what i got another set i like i showed you before i actually got a whole bunch of sets so i could actually charge these go on like a four day trip and never have to charge batteries because I just bring these with me. That's kind of nice. Let's talk about the grip just a little bit, real fast. Fit and finish. I'm gonna say it's okay, it's it's fine, it's good. Is it the quality that you're gonna expect if you're used to buying an actual branded battery grip that you had for your Canon camera previously? Well, no, you're gonna look at that and be like, well, that's that doesn't look as good. And you'd be correct. The fact of the matter is you have a grip versus not having a grip. You don't have to change your batteries versus having to change your batteries every 200 shots. You know what I mean? You have enough battery so that if you're shooting video, you don't get halfway through your interview and your battery dies and you gotta redo it again. That can be a huge benefit for something like this and it's portable, completely portable. Now the other thing that you will notice, no button up here because this is really just a housing unit for bigger batteries so there's nothing up here this isn't going to have ability to have a trigger you're still going to be shooting this way versus this way is that a big deal eh, not really i'm okay with it is it comfy yeah and, and you know you do get that extended grip so for those of us that may have bigger hands you know being able to come in here and hold this and just have this bigger that's kind of nice, right? You actually get a bigger, much more professional feeling camera, even if you're shooting up here. You know, for me, my hand is actually good, but I like the fact that my palm rests on this right now. So when I get that up there, I can put pressure right on the grip. That's kind of nice. I like that. But again, quality wise, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give it, and I'm, I don't want to compare it necessarily to a Canon. If I said the Canon grip is a 10, I would give this like, I don't know, maybe like a six or a seven, right, for build quality. But it's 3D printed, It's that's what it is. It does its job, so I, I know I'm super happy with it. Fit and finish, uh, decent. Just be aware that that locking in there, as I experienced, you gotta get it in right. So if you are having any kind of issues with that, just try it again make sure that the right hand side of the camera over here is fitting properly that it's snug there's no gap because if there's a gap that door close mechanism of the cannon is going to stop power from coming through that's an issue with the camera and mount connecting not a faulty grip yeah okay last but not least it just it works it works so is this going to be for everybody no, and a lot of people are like two, three hundred shots a day. Why, goodness, who takes that many photos? Well, I take that many photos. I definitely take enough video to blow through a battery or two in a day. So this can be super handy. But if you're just a you know hobbyist or beginner or whatever, the fact of the matter is you may not want to have to kind of put this together. It's not considered a, like a DIY, but it's kind of, sorta, because there's it's not got that. It just works. It kind of just works it should just work possibly will work it works for me after i fiddled around with it it works this is the last thing last thing for sure you gotta realize and just like that little warning that came up from canon that it says we don't know we don't know i spent a lot of time talking with the company and they're like yeah no that you're good it's these batteries should have no issues the system inside it will only send out what the camera is required to pull and the I can't remember voltage or amperage or wattage or whatever matches perfectly what the Canon batteries would be kind of putting out. So you're fine. There should be no damage to the camera at all. But hey, that's that's something Canon warned you, right? And uh, I read it. It won't let you proceed without it. So take that with a little bit of a grain of salt, I guess. Anyways, there you go. That's it. That's a battery grip for the Canon RP. Kind of cool. And really, same kind of price point, maybe a little bit more then especially if you buy your own batteries then if you just bought that weird little grip extension thing from canon all right guys i'm gonna put a link to their website if you're curious again if you want to reach out to them please do they're fantastic for for replying and, and getting back to hold of you i was super super happy with that and uh that's it link down below like comment share and subscribe and i'm hoping that i can get one of these grips maybe to try for the m50 because i think that would also be cool the m50 goes through batteries almost as fast 
All right, my friends, I will talk to you guys later. Battery grip. Check them out. Link down below. Do your stuff. Have a good one.